Hey guys, welcome back to Adventure Camping Tactical Nut here, and today we're going to talk about the SOG Twitch XL. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, guys, as I just said, the SOG Twix. Twix. <laughs> Twitch XL. Alright. <clears throat> First, as always, we're going to have to do the specs. We have a three and a quarter inch blade, making it four and a quarter closed, seven and a half overall. The blade steel is a OS 8 with a Rockwell hardness of 5758, and handle scales are aluminum 6061T6. All right, and the weight, 4.2 ounces. Now, as you can see, probably pretty well, <laughs> if I hold it close enough, um, this knife has had a lot of love, right? Well, and there's a reason for that. It's not mine. <laughs> a buddy of mine gave it to me, or let me borrow it, uh, about a week ago. Uh, I guess he's not very good at knife sharpening, and so he <clears throat> asked me to put an edge on it for him. So I got it just razor sharp. And then realized I kind of didn't want to give it back right away. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I've only been carrying it for about a week, but I will tell you what, this knife is a lot of fun. Um, now, the cool thing is, one, obviously, you know, I love spring assisted knives, so works well that way. Um, what I was kind of disappointed in, though, you can use the thumb studs to do it, but it's really not that comfortable to do so. Um, so, I don't know, take it or leave it, not really that concerned about it, but, you know, the flipper works fine. Uh, partially open construction, right, as you can see here. Now, uh, when he gave it to me, the, <clears throat> the, the action on it was a bit gritty, so I cleaned it out real well, ordered it up from, for him real well, um, and then, of course, put a razor hair shaving sharp edge on it. Uh, but if you notice here, drop point design in the blade, but it's not a normal shape. I guess he had sent it back because he had also broken the tip off of it. Um, so, and I think he said the spring assist was messing up on it. It wasn't twitching very well, as he put it. Uh, but he said he got it back within two weeks, and they had just to kind of reground a new edge at the tip and got the thing working. So he says the warranty was awesome. And the turnaround time was really fast. Uh, you do have a little bit of jimping here on the flipper. Um, and then you have a little bit of jimping here. But if you notice, even though it's spring assisted, this is a lockback design for the lockup. Um, I think the guy's name is Steve Fraser, is the one that uh, invented this one. And, I mean, it's, it's rock solid, guys. I mean, there's no movement front to back, side to side. I mean... As you can see in here, um, stop pin, I mean, all that, it it works awesome. Uh, it does have a little safety right here, so if you were to push this button, nothing, right? Uh, me, never use it. Not going to, never would. Um, I'm sure a lot of people would super glue that open, but since it is not mine, I'm not going to do that. Pocket clip. Sog always gets this one right. As I've said many times before, I wish all pocket clips looked like this because, and I'll show you, I've got this right beside the Ganzo in my pocket. I love the fact that all you got is this clip, right? Because then I'm just going to take it out, go to work with it. Um, but this one, I mean, it's just everybody's going, you know, not that I'm opposed to it. I just, prove, uh, you know, I just... Uh, Lost my train of thought. I just prefer this. You know, just the less seen the better. There's no need for everybody to see and or for it to be glaringly obvious that you're carrying a knife. Um, but here's another thing that I like about it. One, that's the aluminum. So it is very, very smooth. Um, have not had any issues with it slipping in hand. Um, but one thing that I will say is that look how thin that is. 
I mean, it could almost fit inside the Ganzo. Uh, so in pocket, even though it's 4.2 ounces, um, which by most of my standards, I would say that's a little bit heavy, uh, you don't notice it in your pocket. You can barely feel it. You can ride it in your back pocket and never notice it. Uh, front pocket, definitely, because you fit your hand in there, anything else. I mean, that is just really thin. Here's another way of looking at it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's just, that's been a really cool aspect of the knife. Uh, got your logo here. Um, but other than that, I mean, the blade, awesome. Steel. This has actually held an edge longer, though, than this. So i got to say I'm a little bit disappointed in that. Um, now, since I didn't buy this, I can't give you a, a price on it right off the top of my head. But what I'll do is I'll look it up, and then I'm going to annotate it um, in the description below or maybe throw it here at the bottom of the screen. Uh, but, man, guys, this thing's a lot of fun. Very comfortable in hand. Like I said, it's really thin. It's really smooth. Um, but no issues with slipping, but I haven't hard used it because it's not mine But you probably could I, I would well Showing that he broke the tip off <laughs> Probably shows that he was hard using it when he shouldn't have been or at least in a manner But obviously he's used it quite a bit that he was not afraid to try it. So um, I'd probably put it in the hard use category the lanyard hole really small you'd have to be very picky as to what you're gonna use to uh, what kind of land you're going to put through there because paracord ain't going to fit um, is as you can see much smaller than the Ganzo's lanyard hole uh, and I just keep doing the comparison because uh, it's kind of hard well, can you say that this is a I know this one's going to be a lot more expensive than this one because I paid $13 even full retail is like $25 and I'm guessing this one's probably in the $65, $75 range so and that's what if you're buying it online if you get it in store I guarantee it costs more than that um, but like I said, I'll put it in the description. But if you see why I don't like using the thumb studs to open this, you see there's no gap, no groove cut out for your thumb. And so when you go to use it, I mean, you really got to dig in there on it to get it to come out and activate it. But the flipper works just fine. Okay, guys, I really just wanted to show this off, talk to you a little bit about it, uh, since I'm, I'm going to see if I can carry it for a <laughs> I'm supposed to see him tonight, and so I'm gonna beg, borrow, and hopefully, oh, come on, let me carry it for. If he lets me keep it for a little bit longer to keep really testing it out, then I will let you know, and I will also do a more, or at least an updated review on how it's held up over time for me. Okay, guys, hope this in some way helps you though in your purchasing decisions. I'm impressed. I really am. I like it. I would buy one. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Okay, guys, in the meantime, be prepared, have fun.